Hey, good morning, everybody. My name is Justin, and I'm one of the pastors at One Life Church. Um, During the month of April, we are going to be doing a sermon series called Hope Will Rise. And alongside of this sermon series, we are going to be doing morning devotionals. Um, And uh, and it's just going to be really simple. What we're going to do is we're going to dive into a story in the life of Jesus. We're going to look at that story, and I'm going to make an observation. I'm going to just um, highlight something from that story where I see hope um, um, coming into play, and then we'll pray together. And so it'll be really, really simple. My prayer is that you will be encouraged through this experience. My other prayer is that this will help you begin to create a rhythm where you are diving into God's word on a daily basis. So let's dive in. Let's do this together. Today, we are going to be in Mark chapter one, verse one. And so if you have your Bible, Go ahead and turn to Mark chapter 1, verse 1. I'm going to read this. It says, it says, The beginning of the gospel about Jesus Christ, the Son of God. It is written in Isaiah the prophet, I will send my messenger ahead of you who will prepare your way. A voice of one calling in the desert, prepare the way for the Lord, make straight paths for him. And so John came baptizing in the desert region and preaching a baptism of repentance For the forgiveness of sins, the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem went out to him, confessing their sins. They were baptized by him in the Jordan River. John the Baptist wore clothing made of camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. And this was his message that he preached. After me will come one more powerful than I, the thongs of whose sandals I am not worthy to stoop down and untie. I baptize you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. At that time, Jesus came from Nazareth in Galilee and was baptized by John the Baptist in the Jordan River. As Jesus was coming up out of the water, he saw heaven being torn open and the Spirit descending on him like a dove. And a voice spoke from heaven, You are my Son, whom I love. With you I am well pleased. So, so let, me, let me just highlight where I see hope um, at play in this story. Um, it, where, where I see hope is when it says that Jesus was coming up out of the water, the heavens were torn open, and the Spirit was descending on him like a dove, or the Spirit was coming to him or toward him. Um, when Paul, the Apostle Paul, talks about baptism in Romans chapter 6, He says that when we are baptized, we are united in Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection. And so for the early church, they had this imagery that that when they went down into the waters, then they were being united, they were being baptized into the death and the burial, all right? And so the waters were synonymous with the death and burial of Jesus. And so when we see this, we see that Jesus was under the water, in the place of death and burial. And it was at that place that the Spirit of God was descending upon him. Now, we we see this image in a couple other places in in the Scriptures. First is in Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. We see that the world is full of chaos. And it was in the midst of that chaos that the Spirit of God was hovering over the chaos. Waters in the Hebrew text were also compared with chaos. And so when Jesus is baptized into the waters, he is baptized into the chaos, into the death, into the burial. And that was the point in which the Spirit of God was descending upon him. Another place where that comes to mind is Jesus' death and resurrection. Jesus is crucified on the cross, and then they bury him in a tomb, and they roll the immovable stone in front of his burial place. Jesus is dead. He is buried. And it is at that moment when the Spirit of God enters into that tomb, rolls the immovable stone away, and breathes life back into the person of Jesus. It's in the point, the moments of chaos and darkness, the places of death, the places of burial, when the Spirit of God descends upon us. That's the promise. That's the hope. Hope 
hope is, is the reality that there is always more to come, that the promise that there is always more to come, that no matter what I'm facing, no matter what I'm walking through, no matter how dark the shadows might be, no matter how deep the pit might be that I find myself in, that I can believe the promise that the Spirit of God is going to descend upon me and meet me right where I'm at. Meet me where I find myself. That's hope. Hope is that there is no place that you can go to escape the Spirit of God, the presence of God, the love of God. There is no pit you can go into. There There is no burial tomb where you can go. There is no dark moment, dark day that you can go to be separated from the power and the presence of God, the Spirit of God that comes and meets you where you are. There's always hope. There's always hope. And when the Spirit descends upon Jesus in that place of chaos, in that, those burial waters, in that place of death, the Spirit descends upon Jesus. The heavens are torn open God is coming for His Son. And the Spirit says, This is my Son. I love Him and I am pleased with Him. When the Spirit descends upon your most chaotic moment, when the Spirit descends upon your most shadowed moment, when when the Spirit descends upon the most hopeless season, the Spirit comes and says, This is my child. I love them and I am pleased with them. This is my child. I love them, and I am pleased with them. This morning, I want you to hear. I want you to hear that the Spirit of God is going to meet you where you are, is descending upon you in whatever chaos you are facing. The Spirit of God is speaking over you. You are God's child. He loves you, and He is pleased with you. Walk in that hope. Walk in that promise, my friends. Let's pray together. God, thank you for your word. Thank you for the scriptures. And thank you for the hope that explodes off every page. I pray that wherever my friends find themselves, they would believe the promise, they would trust the promise that you are going to meet them there. And that new life is always possible. New beginnings are always just on the horizon. There is always more to come. Help us to believe that today. It's in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit that we pray. Amen and amen. Have a wonderful day, my friends.